Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Wake Up Missoula. I'm your host, Scott Ramp, and I'm here to tell you about all the things that are happening in and around this year, 2019. It is January 2nd. It is the first show of the year. Uh, I had a nice vacation. Thanks for asking. And it's going to get a little bit warmer. Yesterday it was really cold, but today your highs are going to be into 27. Yes, that's right. Two and a seven with Thursday's high being into 39. So things are going to start warming up. We might see some chances of snow this week, but today may see the last day of bitter cold for at least a little while while you guys are transitioning into later midwinter because it is winter time. And with winter time, it's it's a good time to check out some of the uh, outdoor recreational stuff. And with the first, we go to On the Snow. OnTheSnow.com is where I go to find out if there's any fresh powder for those of you who like to recreate out in the winter. So Whitefish Brown had three inches of snow in the last 24 hours, uh, 12 inches uh, in the last 72 hours for Big Sky Ski Resort. Uh, Montana Snow Bowl has uh, four inches in the last 72 hours. So there's been snow in the last... X amount of time, um, we might be seeing some more snow later this week as well, but I'll tell you more about that as we get into it for Friday's show. All right, guys, let's talk about some news that are happening in and around. So, of course, the biggest news things that's been happening in uh, the city of Missoula just over the last couple nights was the 25th anniversary of First Night Missoula. So it, not to be confused with First Friday, First Night is a uh, family-friendly, alcohol-free um, um celebration of the New Year's. And for 25 years, First Night, which started in the East Coast, was brought over here in the 90s uh, by a couple of hardcore people, and they wanted to uh, kind of expand that. So it was nice to see a bunch of art and artists all over the uh, from all over uh, the city of Missoula it just come back together, and it's kind of like a, a, a an annual tradition for a lot of people who want to see familiar bands and familiar faces along the way. But of course, let's talk about Sawmitch Sawmill Gulch Road, uh, of course, to access uh, their homes. Ten families currently rely on Sawmill uh, Gulch Road, which begins near the trailhead parking lot for the Rattlesnake National Recreation Area. However, the private narrow roadway, which runs along the north side of the steep hillside, is becoming more crowded with the ever-increasing number of recreational users. So the, they uh, presented the, uh, the county of Missoula a gift and say, annex us and we can uh, build a road um, to better facilitate parking and all that stuff because with a lot of highways in uh, the state of Montana, you could park just off of the highway, even though a lot of times it can be annoying if you have people who park just off of the highway. It's not illegal, according to Montana Department of Transportation, but it is annoying to some residents as well. So this is maybe may a solution for a lot of these families to be a part of Missoula County. So 10 new families will be added to the tax bracket of the county. Okay, so in state news, the state justice department hopes to gain a new year's resolution of reducing drunk drivers uh, by which you can, uh, certain penalties will be increased. This, uh, they're adding a new bill, which will be uh, hopefully passed by the Montana state legislature, uh, which will allow police to take blood to be used against drunk drivers um, if they feel as though uh, they have been drinking and driving, um, making a sobriety program that launches a way to help an, on an individual basis. DUIs from other states should count in Montana. Uh, penalties for fifth DUI offenders will be up to five to ten years in prison. Lawmakers draft a handful of drunken uh, driving-related bills each session, but most die in committee. So that's kind of what's going on in the state of Montana. In national news, uh, government is shut down for over the last two weeks, and boy, uh, did uh, did you notice it? Because I don't think I really noticed it, but President Trump has invited bipartisan groups and top lawmakers to the White House for talks. Two gr gr congressional sources say the Trump has insisted a $5.7 billion uh, for a southern border wall, but Democrat, uh, Democratic con uh, congressional leaders have stood firm against the funding. funding. Uh, the House is expected to vote on a funding bill to end the partial government shutdown on Thursday. Uh, that's the first day of the new Congress when Democrats will take control of the chamber and are expected to elect Pelosi as Speaker of the House. Of course, in international news, um, the British Parliament moves even further away from the European Union as the Brexit talks uh, was completely uh, back and forth for a while, and so they decided to hold off on the vote until uh, January 14th. So we'll find out whether or not the, the British want to move forward on detaching from the European Union up in May. So this, the whole idea is like, okay, we're going to separate from the European Union, but this is so basically we can uh, separate from the European Union at a drop of the hat if we, if our, um, 
I guess our demands aren't met from the European Union, and the European Union, this is all economic reasons why the British uh, pounds and all that stuff, they don't want to be associated with the European Union once and for all. Um, economically, uh, politically, and so on and so forth with the European Union. So there's a lot of uh, people who are supportive of the Brexit, as what it's called, and they'll be voting on it later this month as well. So that's kind of what's happening in the news. Um, I got some guests on here from uh, Meals on Wheels, the Missoula Agent Services, Colleen Kernan and Larry uh, Kuchenrother uh, will be coming on here right after this. Welcome back. Uh, to my right, we got Colleen Kernan. She is with, um, the, she's the volunteer coordinator with Meals on Wheels through the Musical Agent Services, which promotes the ind independence, dignity, and health of aging adults. And those who serve and them. And those who serve them. I want to say it a lot more for the benefit for you guys. You've been coming on. Um, Missoula Agent Service has been coming on my show for many years, and this is a, a new year, yeah. and we're glad you can join us early this month to talk about uh, the Meals and Wheels program. Yeah. And Larry Kutzenruther, um is here as well. Did I get that right? Yes, you did. All right, awesome. Because you gave me that look, and then like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you probably get that. You probably get that look quite a bit. Quite a bit. Like, yes, I like, do. Mm, yeah, that's good. <laughs> but you're here to talk about uh, serving as a driver for Meals on Wheels, and one of the really good questions that I read on the sheet as well is that what makes what uh, keeps you coming back to the Meals on Wheels? You know, uh, being a volunteer for Meals on Wheels is very rewarding for the individual. But I realize that it's not only feeling good, but it's also making a difference in a person's life. Mm -hmm. And I get to make a difference in a person's life probably 20 times a day when I deliver meals. Wow. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's extremely rewarding. And this is a, a good time as well because a lot of times uh, these people don't have any interaction with a lot of, especially during the winter. It's like yeah. we were talking about this a little bit. It's like it's so cold outside. And, you know, slipping and falling is such a big deal for an aging adult is that once you fall and you hurt yourself, it's, it can kind of be a, a big problem because yeah. my dad was one of those uh, people who fell. He had to have surgery on his shoulder yeah. because he fell. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's crazy. Just, just a simple fall can just make you um, completely homebound. Yeah. It does. Yeah. And, that, and that is the, the primary qualifier for a, a person to receive Meals on Meals is that they are uh, primarily homebound and unable to get to the grocery store or do meal prep. So um, everybody that we serve is homebound. We were talking also about how in the winter, uh, the snow and ice and fear of falls uh, increases that, that status of, of homebound for a lot of people. So we'll see our numbers go up in the winter. Yeah. And, uh, but we're, of course, happy to serve all yep. of our clients, everybody. Yeah. And Missoula yeah. Services does a lot of stuff, mm -hmm. including fall prevention programs and also uh, post-fall programs to help people as well. But we're talking about Meals on Wheels. We are. And <laughs> every day, Monday through Friday, yes, um, you guys deliver meals to people. All the we good do. folks of Missoula, all the uh, golden yep. oldies. <laughs> yeah, and you know, one thing too, like you were saying, Larry, for so many of our clients, because they are homebound, 
they may not see anybody throughout the day until their Meals on Wheels driver arrives. True. And so not only are you guys bringing the good nutrition, but also that it's so important, that social the element. Yeah. Yep. And a, a warm smile goes a long way with that warm meal, I tell you. Yep. And you're, uh, this is a, a call out, a, a call to action in a way yes. to get volunteers to volunteer their time to go deliver meals to these yep. folks uh, who are Missoula from the very beginning, a lot of yep. times. Yeah, yeah. You bet. They hold a lot of um, <clears throat> history just in their own noggins. That's true. <laughs> and it's interesting just to kind of hear a lot of their stories. So um, be a part of uh, Meals on Wheels. You were a Meals on Wheels driver for I a was. while, Scott. Yeah. Yeah, but it's, it's, like, it's like you have to have so a good amount of time between about. 10 a.m. And about 1, 1.30 mm-hmm. p.m. roughly, depending upon how what your trip's like. Larry, um, uh, I don't want to talk too much, but tell us about your um, how what kind of driver you are for Meals on Wheels, because there are different types of drivers. Well, I like to think that I'm the best. No, <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Larry. I, I'm actually a sub, and, and I sub three days a week. And what I do is I just go down. Uh, I'll go down every the three days that I deliver, and Colleen gives me a route if she has one open. If she doesn't, then... I just went down for the camaraderie of talking to to the other drivers for a half hour, forty five minutes. But uh, we have uh, quite a crew, don't we? Yes, we do. It's a very yeah. a very warm, welcoming it crew. Is. I'd say. It is. It's very rewarding to go down there and just. It's like a coffee clutch down there. Yeah. And and uh, <laughs> so it, it gets it gets me out of the house as well. I could be homebound in the winter if it wasn't for something to do. Mm-hmm. So. This uh, is motivation to get up and get out and, and see other people. And help people. It feels like this and, and should, help people. It feels like this uh, is like, kind of feels like a uh, Meals on Wheels driver's cafe. Hey, Just come out. <laughs> yeah. You were what, are those, what are those called? It's uh, it's like, you know, the bus drivers have a, like a, a room area. And then, of course, you know, cab drivers also have like a designated area as well. I can't, I can't like the pit. We or, call it dispatch. Dispatch, yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it could be a break room. could be a, a coffee clatch, you know or yeah. <laughs> something like that. Uh, so, yeah. yeah. So uh, where can people find more information about? People can find more information uh, at our Missoula Aging Services website, which is missoulaagingservices.org. Uh, mm-hmm. um, also, you could call Missoula Aging Services, 728-7682. Um, and I also want to get in here, too. We are looking for people with clean driving records, yeah. um, so that we can yeah. just get people right out there, you know, a demonstration of insurance, yeah. things like that. So those are other qualifiers to be a Meals on Meals yeah, volunteer Yeah, volunteering is really easy. You call them and they're just like, hey, let's set up an appointment. You go on to the offices at yep. uh, Missoula Agent Services. That they, you interview them? Uh, I don't. No, you get interviewed by the uh, volunteer coordinator yep. at Missoula Agent Services because there's so many people at Missoula Agent Services <laughs> making um, a lot of people's lives a lot easier here in Missoula. That's right. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you guys very much. I'm always yep. happy to have you on here. Is there anything else you want to mention before we go? Well, what should we should we talk about how, you know, if people are looking for New Year's resolutions and they want to get out and help their community, come that's down and join one. us. Yeah, awesome. that's yeah. a good one. That's very good. Yeah. yeah. Well, thanks, guys. Thank I really you, appreciate Scott. you uh, thanks, Scott. for joining me this morning. If you want more information, go to MissoulaAsianServices.org. All right, we'll be right back right after this. Thanks much. Thank you. Like Bureau has an army of less than 20,000 soldiers, the U.S. provided over $500 million worth of military aid. I wonder why didn't they build schools, why didn't they build hospitals, but rather military. And the military leader built himself up and became dangerous. A lot of people fled Liberia because they couldn't live under the military regime. Things got bad. It was like this. If you couldn't say anything positive about the leader, don't you dare say anything negative. You and your family would disappear. It it was that bad. We know this in the same way as if you were to go to a physician and the doctor says you got high blood pressure. It's not by guessing by golly because these things are measured. And so there is a direction to the patient. Get your blood pressure down. And in the same way, the scientists, using the same essential science as medical technology, 
is assessing the pulse of the planet. And they are saying, get your CO2 level down. And so there is a way to do that. One of the Syrians here is from Homs. Uh, he said, it was at that point fear came into our conversations. You'd go out onto the street and start to think you won't return home. And then he mentioned an Arabic expression, al-raih mafqud wal raja mawlud, which means he who goes in is lost, he who returns is born. Uh, what that means, from what I understood, um, is that when you go out into the street, you just don't think you're going to come back. And the joy you experience when you come out alive is like you've been reborn. I, well, I do want to say that MCAT has been a real champion for us over the years. We've been doing our roundtable series for, this is our 10th year now. That's has 30 programs on Bonner history which have been preserved by MCAT on demand. Uh, when people want to go there and see one, there they are. So thank you so much. Oh, most, most are welcome. <laughs>
for pizza time with Gatsby. Yeah, and, he, and a free car wash. Yeah. Now he he could read the the lines of his face on on Leonardo's. So I'm character. drawing Leonardo in his most <laughs> famous role, <laughs> Graham Gramsey. Um, <laughs> his name's, uh, his name's, I don't think his name's Leonardo. Leonardo. Oh, it is. Right. <laughs> you, have to say, you can't say Leonardo without adding DiCaprio at the end of it. Otherwise you or else Ninja you'll be Turtles. thinking about the Ninja Turtle or that famous artist. But speaking of which, I, I'm, I'm a distant relative of Leonardo DiCaprio. I mean, I mean, so, yeah. <laughs> Leonardo da Vinci. I'm so this is his famous like, role, but uh, this is this like is the plot. Moments where it's just like Leonardo, oh, da Vinci, oh. This is the part where he got shot in the chest. Honestly, that's that's the part where he's like, "Oh no, oh, I'm no. Dead. <laughs> oh, oh no, I'm, I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead." And he's like, and he's like holding, he's holding on to the, <laughs> and he's like holding on to those, one of those phones. Now remember. You can draw him any way you want. Any way you want. It's Leonardo DiCaprio. It is Leonardo DiCaprio. Just think if you can make him the better. Like if you drew him in uh, Ninja Turtles outfit. <laughs> oh no. He's wearing a swimsuit and is a Ninja Turtle. No, wait. <laughs> and is a Ninja no, Turtle. Who was the guy who shot him? That's a good question. That was the husband of the lady that he was trying to. That take. got that got murdered. Yeah, she got ran over. George, George Costanza, I think, is his name. George Costanza was his name, I think. <laughs> I really well, his first name was George Costanza behind him holding a gun. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, oh. You have enough time to draw George Costanza <laughs> holding a gun. I mean, I think the guy, the guy who actually saw him actually named is George, and I, I forgot, I didn't know if he had a last name, I just went to the first last name that I could think of, and something fell. I did it, Jerry. <laughs> I shot Gatsby. <laughs> Jerry! <laughs> Jerry! I shot the Gatsby. <laughs> you shot the Gatsby. Why I did you shoot the Gatsby. What did you do? You shot the Gatsby. You shot the Gatsby. <laughs> you shot the Gatsby. <laughs> oh no, you can't do that. No, no you can't do Jerry, that. Jerry, I need all your syrup. What's going on here? Jerry. <laughs> I shot Gatsby. I shot Gatsby. Gats you you shot Gatsby. <laughs> literally for the next twenty minutes, it's, that's the whole episode of the movie. <laughs> So I'm there's gonna Leonardo. Over. I'm going to jump over. <laughs> Gatsby. <laughs> <laughs> you shot Gatsby. Why did you shoot the Gatsby? <laughs> Gatsby. Jerry, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. Hi, Jerry. Oh, G George shot Gatsby. <laughs> did you hear about that? Did you hear about that one? Knock, knock. Newman. <laughs> <laughs> Newman? Jerry. Did you guys hear that Gatsby just got shot? Jerry Gatsby got shot. <laughs> <laughs> his yellow card. His yellow, the his yellow that card to foretold the future. Did you know Scott Fitzgerald was. <laughs> Obviously, you guys remember George's famous role in, <laughs> in The Great Gatsby, where he <laughs> shot Gatsby. I mean, I mean, seriously, have you seen him when he cried, when he, when he, uh, the guy's performance when he cried, when, uh, that so actually, to be honest, this encompasses all of, Great. actually, this drawing encompasses all of Leonardo DiCaprio's roles, because he dies. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> This is a nice little stidbit. Uh, the premise of the show is basically they have five minutes to draw um, an image, uh, and the subject is uh, basically signed and put into a hat, and they have to pick from a random selection, and they have to have a draw-off, and then they only have five minutes to do uh, each of them to do it. So this one is between Roe and Graham, the two guys that you saw on camera. All right, so those are some of the... Uh, programs that are airing. If you want to pr uh, do a program such like those or something completely different, uh, you can always uh, apply here at MCAT. You can log on to MCAT at MCAT.org or you can call us 542-6228. You can also email us MCAT at MCAT.org. Pretty simple. A lot of MCAT. All right, let's talk about some events that are happening in the city of Missoula. There's a lot of stuff happening, and we're talking about foundations of meditation training. And this is the Community Dispute Resolution Center. Hey, if you're in an argument and, you know, if a walking isn't good enough, then 
why not learn a little bit of meditation? This happening it is happening right now. This is a five-day, 40-hour course that will be taught uh, this week, and this is from 9 to about 6 p.m. This course is designed for public and private sector managers, attorneys, and human resource professionals who are called upon to uh, channel diverse opinions into workable solution. It is an interactive approach to conf conflict resolution. Sweet. Missoula writes the 11th annual writing contest is happening. Uh, Missoula Public Library, and it kicks off today, and it goes on until February 15th. So, hey, you're a writer. You want to have a writing contest? Uh, they invite writers of all ages to compete for cash prizes in the category of fiction, nonfiction, and poetry. The, the submission deadline is February 15th. Missoula Reads, hey, if you're not too interested in writing, why not read? Missoula Public Library also is doing their new 50 book challenge. Every year they have a, uh, a list of books where they challenge uh, readers uh, to read. So the Missoula, it's the third annual Missoula Reads 50 book challenge, and it happens today. Uh, the first 125 registrants, uh, registers, uh, regist uh, pe like literal registers, um, will receive a free reading journal. Stop by the reference desk to sign up. Hands-on science. Um, science. Spectrum Discovery Center is a open for all visitors of all ages to explore science through engaging exhibits and activities. At their uh, 812 Tool Avenue address, um, you can learn about the service center uh, uh, and how bubbles work in our discovery bench today and try your hands at making a square bubble. And this is going to be at Hands-on Science at 11. Scrabble and Bridge. Missoula Senior Center every, every, pretty much every single day at Missoula Senior Center, they do a little bit of Scrabble, they do a little bit of Bridge, they might do some Cribbage, that, that's usually on Fridays. Um, around lunchtime, 12.30ish, they do some Scrabble and Bridge. And uh, also tonight, they're gonna have a Cribbage tournament, which I'll talk about after, middle, after a couple of, of other events. Middle School Riders, another great opportunity for kids to get back in the swing of things. Hey, school's pretty much out until next week, so um, Middle School Riders is just gonna hone some of the skills and also maybe encourage some young kids to join the writing contest. Um, starts at 3.30 at Missoula Public Library. Socrates Cafe, every uh, once a month from 6 to 8 p.m. They for informal yet intellectual and a lively discussion of topics relating to the core areas of philosophy at the Missoula Public Library. It's gonna be in a large meeting room unless otherwise specified. 3D printing, one-on-one workshop at the Missoula Public Library. Hey, 3D printing, they have a 3D printer there. It's pretty awesome. It takes forever to print anything, but you get to learn all about the uh, what it takes to uh, y work with a 3D printer. And this is gonna be at the uh, uh, Missoula Public Library's uh, maker space from 6.30 to 7.30. Pretty short, pretty sweet, pretty nice. Uh, Tree of Life in Winter Light. Uh, the Painting with a Twist is doing a come in and paint with the winter version of the Tree of Light. Spring, summer, and fall trees will be coming up soon, so catch up painting while it's in season. Instructions is guided and supplies are provided. Also, there'll be a stencil. Bring some drinks and some friends, and you'll see it at the studio. So it's Painting with a Twist. Um, let, uh, what else do I got for you? Some late night events happening tonight as well. We got uh, men's a cappella, four part harmony singing at uh, River Valley Church at 7 p.m. They're always looking to recruit some more men to do some a cappella. Uh, Filipino martial arts is going to be at the Martial Arts Academy, uh, 7:30 p.m. Br uh, trivia is happening at the uh, Broadway Bar and Grill. You got trivia at the Press Box. You got trivia at Silver Slipper. You got karaoke at the Dark Horse Bar. You got karaoke at the Badlander. All sorts of things happening tonight as well. And I have a video I want to show you guys. I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of hesitant, but I kind of want to show you a little taste of our um, Winter Days Camp. Uh, these are stop animations that the kids have made, and um, I'm about to show it to you guys. So without further ado, here's this, and when I come back, I'm going to talk a little bit more about events for your Thursday. Orange, you glad you didn't say, ah! <laughs> Whoa. Bonk. 
Yeah, let's move on from that. So that winter days, um, it will probably be airing on MCAT. It's a 27 minute program with the various uh, videos that were made by the kids, like those, um, and more. They've got some live action stuff as well, and you'll be airing it on MCAT pretty much through the month of uh, January and February. You can't miss it. Um, let's talk about, well, that's pretty much done. I don't need any more videos to show you guys, but I do have some more uh, events for you guys as well. So Thursday, family, f uh, family fun time at the Missoula Family YMCA. That's a mouthful because uh, family twice in the same title. Um, Missoula Family uh, YMCA at the starting at 9 a.m. This is Tuesdays, Thursday from 9 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Fridays, it's 3.30 to 5 p.m. And then Saturdays, 9 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. And this is for families. Uh, if you're a membership, don't have to worry about the fee. But if you're not, it's $22 per family without a YMCA membership. So they have bounty houses, tumbling mats, scooters, hula hoops, and more. Tablets and comfy chairs to sit and have a snack or take a break. And chats are also provided. You're going to have a de designated person to chat with. I think. Uh, I think that's what they're implying. Um, Art Extravaganza Day Camp. Hey, school's out, but doesn't mean you uh, are not going to work and you, your kids are going to be at home. Don't think so. Well, Art Extravaganza Day is happening today at 10 a.m. This is uh, basically Thursday, January 3rd, um, from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. It's, it's a day camp, a simple single day camp. This is for kids age 5 to 10 years of age. Um, enjoy a snowy day making... Art, clay, painting, sculptures, karaoke. It literally has a karaoke mark on that, and, but I'm also reacting that they actually have karaoke there. You name it, lots of fun indoor art projects all day long to beat away the uh, winter break blues. Tiny Tales, the Missoula Public Library, they usually do it uh, outsource uh, as well in the other branches, but uh, tomorrow at the Missoula Public Library at 10.30, Tiny Tales. Spectrum Discovery, uh, it's pretty much open uh, Wednesday through Sunday at 11 a.m. Uh, I don't test me on Sunday, but I think it's pretty much Wednesday through Saturday. Um, Spectrum is doing DNA labs. Learn about DNA and how they work. Lego Club, 3.30 every Thursday. Uh, testing Beetle Armor. Uh, sorry, Lego Club is the Missoula Public Library. It's 3.30 p.m. It happens every Thursday. Um, it's fun. Play with Legos. Testing Beetle Armor. So Missoula Insectarium has a lot of engaging e exhibits and a lot of uh, fun uh, bugs that you can play with and understand a little bit more. And this is all about the Beetle's armor, about how tough they really are, um, you know, comparatively to, uh, you know, human size, you know, because nothing, you know, like if we step on them, we obviously would kill them. But their armor is tough for their species for sure and they have an hour skeleton um endoskeleton uh for this and most beetles have an especially tough one and they build their discuss exoskeletons and the importance for a beetle and what it is made of and this happens from 3 to 5 p.m but also they have their predator feeding at 3 30 p.m at the uh, missoula sectarium go to missoulabutterflyhouse.org for more information and uh like i said there was a cribbage tournament, and it's happening tomorrow night at 6 p.m. at the Western Cider. Bring your friends in for the first cribbage tournament during the Thursday game nights. Free to enter. Western Cider gift bag for the winner. Sign-ups in the tasting room. Space is limited to about 16 people. They just want to have a 16-people bracket, but who knows? I think they only have 16 boards who, or eight boards because never mind. Uh, tournament rules to be announced, and it says yeehaw. Men's basketball, um, the Grizz take on Sacramento State at 7 p.m. Uh, University of Montana at Dahlberg Arena. Uh, nine Stars Go Club at Willard Building. The Nine, the nine, the nine Stars Go Club meets every Thursday at 7 p.m. All levels welcome. No experience necessary. Go is a game of strategy invented in China 2,500 years ago, similar to chess, but more complex. Players make take turns placing black and white stones on the board. A player with the most uh, territory wins. Through the rule of Go, it are simple to learn. The game takes a lifetime to master. And of course, every first Thursday of the month, we have comedy happening at um, the Union Hall. Sorry about that. I got distracted for a second. I'm just like, uh, I was not centered. I was like right over here, and I looked over at myself, and I'm like, Better. Okay, so those are the uh, events that are kind of happening in and around the city of Missoula. Uh, here are some of the late night events happening uh, tomorrow night as well. They got some karaoke at the Dark Horse. They got Party Volcano at the Badlander. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, th there's not much go else going on uh, tonight and tomorrow night. Unless you have a good imagination and do something for yourself. 
But if you don't have an imagination and you wish to have somebody else to have imagination for you, go to MissoulaEvents.net to see what's going on in Missoula. So you can be like, no, no, no. Mm, that seems interesting, but I won't go. MissoulaEvents.net, your place for indecision. All right, anyway, <laughs> that's uh, <laughs> making up new slogans for Missoula Events. MissoulaEvents.net. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, I mean, cause it's a great resource. It's it's wonderful, but you know that that's the thing about having so many options in today's uh, society is that we say no a lot more to a lot of things. Just think about it. All right, the the <laughs> words of wisdom uh, by myself. Um, so I hope you guys uh, had a, a wonderful break. I did. I'm fully recharged and I'm ready to go. Get back into the swing of things. So um, thanks for joining me. And if you want to learn more information, MCAT.org and beyond. But for Wake Up Missoula, I'm Scott Ramph. Have a good and wonderful couple days. See you Friday.